Okay, so we're gonna play Tak and the Power of Jumbo. Juju, 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 Tak and the Juju Power, whatever the game is called. And yeah, so this is a game from the GameCube era. Uh, I don't know if it's a classic. I don't know how many people liked it. I don't really know anything about this. But the reason why I'm playing this is because it's a 3D platformer. It looks to have a pretty cool style. And there's a friend of mine who has been like edging me to play this for the last year or so. So here we are. It's time to play. Let's just get in here. And uh, yeah, here we go. Didn't this, uh, didn't Tak also get a cartoon? I think it did. It's a Nickelodeon franchise, if I'm not mistaken. Well, <laughs> speak of the devil. THQ, uh oh. Uh oh. Your friend has been edging you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not that kind of edging. Just like. Maybe edging is the wrong word, actually. I don't I don't know what it's called. Dark and the power of you you. So yeah, this has a very, very like GameCube era 3D platformer stank. Jack and Daxter, Spyro and whatnot. Yo, music though! It's some Lloyd Cloth guy. <laughs> Yeah, it's just so fucking, dude. Yo, what the hell? Music, though! Okay. I'm gonna lower it uh, a bit. I was not prepared for... Oh, we have demos. I, I don't want to get spoiled. Also... Please tell me if you can, like, hear talking in the background. You shouldn't with my new microphone, but someone's talking pretty fucking loud in the other room, so I just want to make sure, even though I have the microphone that shouldn't pick up background audio. One of the sequels is about Tack learning how to burp to beat some evil spirits or some shit. Ah, so it's one of those games. Well, let's get in. Options. Rumble. Done. Yeah, this game, uh, this series apparently has like five games. Oh no. I hope this is not insensitive, generic, like voodoo, homage of Bagada, you know? <laughs> we all know it is. No, no. But it's Lubao Tao something. <sighs> is this chanting ever going to work? What is it going to take to get into contact with a powerful juju spirit from another world? <sighs> okay, yeah, so expect what? like disgusting Ranzid as characters like this. You? Can you hear me? Can you hear the game? You do not speak, but I see that you listen. You look so strange. Your clothes, the power stick you hold in your hand. I have never seen a juju like you before. Slightly quiet. And what is this magic box you watch me on? Also, no. It is clearly the most subtitles. important thing in your hut. You do me great honor to watch me on it. My name is Jabalba. I am the <laughs> Jabalba. shaman of the great and legendary Poopanuno people. Poopanuno? Oh my god. Have... Hey! Hey, quiet out there! I'm talking to a juju! What? Tech, would you shut those people up? This is important! And get Warrior Lock! I want to introduce him to this juju! I here. thought Tech was I am doing so the sound. I'm sorry, oh strange and powerful juju. There's a lot going on today. That's why I've called upon you for your help. Let me explain. Throughout the history of the Poopanunu people, Oh, Sean, God. like myself, have known that someday something terrible would happen to our great protector, the Moon Juju. So said the Poopanunu people's prophecy. The Moon Juju is our shield against evil and the source of my Juju power. She is strong and nice and oh, so beautiful. Oh. 
That's Tlaylock. He's not nice, and he's sure not beautiful. He's jealous and practices bad juju. At the council that chose the new high shaman, he was passed over in favor of me. So last night, Tlaylock decided to take his revenge. Tlaylock crept into the Temple of the Moon with his foul servants, pins and needles, and stole pins the and needles. stones, the source of the moon juju's power. Wait, did he say rolling stones? The thing Tlaylock did was to use the moon stones to change the Pupanunu people into stupid, helpless sheep. Without the moon juju, my power. The animation is uh, all right. You. And this is only the beginning of Tlaylock's terrible plan. But Tlaylock is a fool. He won't get away with it. For the Pupanunu people's prophecy clearly says a mighty warrior trained by the High Shaman will defeat Tlaylock and save the Moon Juju. I have trained such a warrior. His name is Lock. Tech, what are you doing? You told me to go get Lock. Yes, that's right. Go fetch Lock. Stop playing with the sheep. I did get Lock. No, you fetched a dirty, stinky animal. That's Lock. See, he's wearing Lock's amulet. Why is the audio so like crusty? Him into a sheep. No, 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 no. This is all wrong. This isn't in the the poop 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 people's prophecy. The mighty warrior doesn't become a sheep. The mighty warrior doesn't lick my foot. Stop the licking, Lock. Oh, this is terrible. So is poop Can't gonna be like change him back? a key theme in this game? Yes, I've got it. We can change Locke back into a mighty warrior. This great juju spirit who watches us from another world can help. Follow Tech. Protect him with your power. <laughs> poop funny! Go with Tech to the ancient burial ground of our ancestors and put the teeth into the statues. And get me some magical lubu plants while you're out. Now go! Both of you! Lock must stop Tlaylock before he destroys the Moon Goddess! I can appreciate the straightforward story. Let's see what the gameplay is like. <laughs> I'm yu yu out! Hello, Tack. My name's Flora. The Moon Juju sent me here to hang out with you and help you whenever I can. Well, it's a long road ahead. I better get started. Raymond Trias dialogue! <laughs> <laughs> she was still talking! Alright, this looks immensely crusty, but uh You seem smart enough to figure this out on your own, but you move yourself around by using the move stick, and if you need to jump, it's as simple as pressing the jump button. You can press the jump button twice to perform a double jump. Hey, don't laugh. I like to think of myself as thorough. <laughs> you come back home. So yeah, I, I can give the game credit for... Uh... <laughs> Look at his face! I can give the game credit for actually having a unique style. Even if I don't like it, you know, I'm not a huge fan of like grotesque. Oh, I just thought of something else important to tell you. Sometimes you'll notice that the camera's not facing the same direction you want to go. You can use the camera stick to rotate the camera around yourself. If the camera isn't looking in the direction you want, just use the camera stick to rotate it until you see what you need to see. Rotate the camera now to look at me. Great! Now you can do this anytime you need to look at something. <laughs> <It's> simple <laughs> enough. The power of Yu Yu on that beat. Yeah, the music is fucking going so far. Also, do tell me if the game is like too loud. It feels like this music is entering my bones. Uh, is there really no subtitles in this? What the fuck? Why is there never subtitles in these games? Okay, pausing the game stopped the music. <laughs> oh lord. Murphy woman green. <laughs> I think you'll find most animals to be helpful in some way or another. If you come across an animal, you should experiment with it to learn how it can help you. Some animals can even be ridden. Oh yes, the mighty rhino. These fellows are great for breaking things into little tiny pieces. Go ahead and jump on board. If you want him to speed up, try giving him a swat with your club. Uh, spank the rhino. 
I do like that it's it's not just a your default tutorial. There's actually some character in the tutorial. Uh, but yeah, why does every 3D platformer from this era expect that they're your first and they must teach you like everything? Alright, so we can uh, ride animals in this, like in Rayman 4. <laughs> Guys, I think I know what happened to Rayman 4. It turned into Tack the Power of Juju. This is everything that remained of Rayman 4. The debris behavior freaks you out. <laughs> Discount Rumbi. That's the 2000s and earlier for you. Subtitles was the thought of accessibility feature back then. Yeah. I will try to shut up when everyone is talking. Adventuring, you will no doubt discover you can pick up certain items. What's cool is that you can throw any item you pick up by just using the action button. If you're tired of carrying an object around and just want to set it down, press the use button. <laughs> What's cool? Alright, well, I don't actually know what, what any of the buttons are, so I just gotta have to, like, experiment here for a bit. Oh my god, look at those hair physics! There's a frame in there <laughs> where his hair is, like, pointing to the sky. Okay, how do I, like, pick up shit? Okay. Nice. Okay, looks like you don't press a button, you just walk over the thing. Yeah, okay, you just walk over the thing to pick it up. That's uh, actually really intuitive. Go that way, thank you. <laughs> you actually read that it's our, uh, parenthesis, millennial generation and younger who heavily prefer using subtitles on everything, which completely baffles older generations. You'd think it would be the other way around. But often the real blame lies in modern media entertainment having horrible audio balancing. That is true. Like, it's not a problem with the generation, it's a problem with the current movies and games and whatnot. Because like back in the day, you know, you had your radios, you had your TVs, everything was crusty. People had to actually train to speak clearly and loudly on television. People would articulate very clearly to speak on the radio, etc. And nowadays you watch some Netflix show and someone says the same thing like... People have to sit to talk on the channel. You know, so it, it's a problem with the current presentation of media, not... Jump, you'll grab onto a not millennials. If you're holding something when you grab a ledge, you'll always drop that item. You'll also drop it if you fall off tall ledges. You love this era of press the action button. <laughs> See this little guy? He's a loop tail monkey and quite mischievous, I might add. Monkeys like this one love throwing coconuts at other animals. The way Tak leans forward when standing still is making you lose it. He's so scrunkly. He's more like hungry. Hey Tak, try throwing the melon at the monkey to see what happens. <laughs> the art style really is just... <sighs> Wait, hang on. What am I throwing this at? The monkey. Oh, okay, I see. You can enter, like, uh, the shooting mode. What is this, like, weird effect? Yeah, oh! Um, I suggest you move back a little. Remember? Those monkeys always throw at whoever's closest to them. Yeah, right. you did it! Did you notice that if you toss something at him, he'll toss a coconut at whoever's closest to him? Keep this in mind while you're adventuring. I, I, sorry, I didn't, like, catch what you said. Did you notice that Tossum is the Tossum closest coconut with closest to him? <laughs> like, what is, what did she say? I just, like, didn't understand what she said. Never mind. I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. very valuable. Make sure you pick up any feathers you see. To pick up a feather, just run through it. There are different kinds of feathers you can find in the world. These yellow feathers are health feathers. 
See how they look like the feather on the top of your head? That's because the feather on your head is also your health meter. When it turns all the way purple, you're out of health. These other feathers also give you health, but their primary use is for magic. As you progress, you'll need mana feathers to do magic. All right. I see your current weapon is the club. Hmm. It's a little basic, but easy to use. Just press the action button to swing the club. Practice on these breakable jars. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is this so funny to me? It's just like breaking everything. A nerve was hiding in that jar. Use your club. It's gonna take a few hits, but I know you can do it. What was that? Gotcha. Normal? Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Scoot a little what now? Oh, so it's gonna be one of these games where you're gonna like whack enemies. I see, I see. Hello there. Nurman from Garfield? Yeah, that's what I heard. Or Nurmal, or whatever the cat is called. Oh my god, look! He's not holding to the stick! <laughs> the tar tar targeting reticle is a live rendering particle trail system, not something that appears where you're auto targeting. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Oh, what the hell? I did jubble, double, <laughs> jubble jump. I did jubble jump. Oh my god, look at his glazed eyes when he runs. Monkey. Wow. Look at the orangutan Bella banana tree. I wonder what would happen if you stood on the big leaf. You should try it, Tuck. So this is the famed Tuck and Daxter. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. Good to know. I. What the hell? Keep trying. I jumped on the monkey and I like fell off the stage. Sorry, what did she tell me to do? Oh, I see. Awesome, Tack. Anytime you want to have the orangutan throw you somewhere, just stand near him and he'll pull down the tree. So far, these textures are so good, though. This is the kind of texture quality you love in 3D games after the cute, crunchy PS1 low poly style. Yeah, I agree. This is the one that I'm eagerly waiting for uh, modern indie games to bring back. You know, things go in cycles. Currently, people are imitating, like, the PS1 and Nintendo 60, 64 aesthetic for indie games. But I want this style to come back. In the world where you have to use ropes. Remember, though, you'll swing in the direction you're facing. So push the move stick left or right to line yourself up before you jump off. Sorry, what? Oh, I see. Physics! There's like weird fucking physics on this! You just remembered that Spyro 3 didn't have a tutorial and you learned- uh, we learned everything just fine. Even though we couldn't read English. Yeah! That's because Spyro 1- <laughs> sorry. Spyro 3, the original Spyro, has such an intuitive control movement set. You don't really like need anything. What the hell is happening? Oh, I see. That's weird. There's like actual physics on this rope. And for some reason, like turning is reversed when you're swinging. That is weird. <laughs> this is gonna, this is not gonna end well. That's so cumbersome, holy fuck. Ugh. 
creepy swinging. Yeah, because he turns into like a weird ass puppet. Tarzan Simulator 2024. Tarzan. <laughs> Why does the music do that? Why does it like fade out? And now it's back. So these are just the normal collectible feathers. Now it's time to learn about rams. See if you can get past them. Okay, now we actually have to think with our own brains. You know, whenever the rams finished sending you flying, he always goes back to the same location. Maybe you could use a melon to lure him away from the door. Melon. Try setting a melon down on the ground somewhere near him and see what happens. <laughs> melon. These melons? Okay, so put down. Come and get it. Come and get it, boy. Come get the melon, boy. Oh, the camera is so stupid. It's like reversed. Does the background music really have like five seconds of dead You're time between stopping and restarting? The other villagers back in the human form. Jubulba said we needed to go to the burial grounds. We can get there from your village. Let's get started. Jubulba. All right, tutorial done. Are you winning the feed game, Rai? Bro, no one has even mentioned feet. It's you who keeps bringing it up this in chat. Village. Stop oh, talking about people. feet! They're wonderful and really friendly. Too bad most everyone's been turned into We just beat the tutorial. Hopefully we can help them. <laughs> it's literally on screen. Get your mind out of the gutter, as they say. To collect the magical plant so Jabulba can turn Lock back into human form. But first, we need to go to the burial grounds to get the staff. I know the way. Follow me. All right, let's go. Whoosh. Bro doesn't even know what the game he's playing. <laughs> I can whack my friends when they're in sheep form. That's funny. Alright, let's follow this guy. It's Tack and Daxter, actually. Yeah, it's Tack and Daxter. Oh, I like that skybox. This really makes it feel like these guys live in a giant tree or something. It's pretty cool. Yo, there's even like a... This is probably like an overworld or something. I don't know how... How much of this I actually have to collect, so... Let me just ignore those for now. What system are I, am, am I on? GameCube. GameCube version of the game. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. What was that? You know, that's not the only one. Meh. <laughs> this fucking guy's face when he jumps. All right, I guess we're going here. This bucket will take us to burial ground. This bucket will take us to burial ground. Nerd emoji ass voice. <laughs> All of your ancestors are buried here. Many of them great Pupununu people. Everyone here is watched over by the great warrior king. 
It's his tomb we have to enter to get the staff. All right, first level graveyard. Why is the first level always a fucking graveyard or some shit? Oh, I see the statues Jabobo was talking about. We should go over there. Over there? All right, let's go over there. Oh! <laughs> Instantly fucking fell. Didn't see the rope. Yo, this game has weird, like, physics. I don't mean the physics are weird. I mean, it's weird that this has physics. Like, it's like Half-Life 2 or some shit. It's trying to do, like, some sort of a physics-based platforming here. It's pretty cool, actually. You can even feel the physics uh, when you play a stack. Sometimes you can't, like... If, if I jump, look, if I jump and start pressing backwards, instead of like turning, he like s slowly rotates. Music is going off again, popping off. <laughs> Boing. What other games have a graveyard level one? Um, Gex. This freaking swinging is so crusty, though. Why am I here? This fucking guy. I hate this rancid ass guy. Yeah. Rancid ass troll looking character. Physics are neat to see, but they look really awkward to interact with. Oh, check it out, They're kind of sloppy. The teeth. Let's go get it. But other than that, the playability is pretty good so far. Nice. Woo! <laughs> nice job. You got the tooth. Now take it to one of the statues. Wow. Okay. So I guess the golden teeth are the... The collectible in this game. Uh, take it to one of the statues. Which statue is she talking about? Hey, Tag, look. Oh. When we get all four teeth, I think we'll get access to the tomb. All right, let's get collecting teeth. Get them TTs. You have to touch the feather exactly to collect it. Yeah, there's a bit of that going on there. Music is good though. I, I like this ambient style music. By the way, I'm probably not going to 100% this game. Hello there, welcome. Why did he say boom shakalaka? That's gonna leave a mark. Check it. Woo! He doesn't move. He, he's so stiff. He doesn't have any of the flexibility that something like Jack and Daxter had. Yeah, this is kind of scary. When there's no music, it gets like scary creepy past the analog. ARG, YouTube, backrooms, entity. <laughs> Liminal spooky. <laughs> Liminal tack. Aside, uh, aside from the like character designs, I actually really do like the like style of this game. The graphics, the textures, reminds me of Rayman 3. Come 
Oh no, here we go again. Nice. Looks good for a GameCube game being played in 2024. <laughs> That's one way to put it, yeah. Wait, why did I even have to use the rope? I could have just... Oh my god. Use this rope. I almost just uh, flew off the stage there. So, okay, so Tack grabs onto the ropes by himself! <laughs> Suicide rope, Tack creepypasta analog. And the last one is over there. There's already some uh, gorgeous scenery bits so far, and we're only half an hour into the game. I agree. I just, yeah, I just don't like rancid characters, but... Yeah, this game has its own style, and I gotta respect that. Look, you can even count the pixels on the on the ground textures. That's what I like to see. Laugh and the power of poo poo. You jest, but this game is actually full of gross poo jokes and whatnot because it's made by Nickelodeon. <laughs> Does Tack have any relatives? I don't know. Tech is the only child. Clot, or like, whatever the hero is called. That's just his friend. You didn't mean it as an insult, this looks really sharp. I, I, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. And it does. Lock, yeah. You're excited to see what they think of this game. As you get further, hell yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Clot. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get it eventually. According to the TV show, Yibola is his uncle. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> nice fucking... Covid cough. Whoa, are you okay? Oh, that happens all the time. Part of being mummified. You get these dust balls in your throat, they feel like little rocks. So, you're the great warrior of the Poopanunu people's prophecy, mm-hmm. Come to pick up the staff of your ancestors? Well, you don't look so great to me. Me? Oh, I'm not the great warrior. That's Locke's job. I'm just here to take the staff to Jaboba. The prophecy says only the great warrior can have the staff. If you can take the staff from me, mm -hmm, you are meant to have it. <laughs> oh. oh, man. That's my fight. Didn't even wait Before for him to finish. Bro just fucking took the staff. Take the staff, great warrior. Use it wisely and often. I was expecting a boss fight. Me again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, you did it, Tack. This is a powerful weapon. I bet those awful nerbles don't stand a chance now. TV show actually hey, changes you know a lot of stuff. I bet you can also use this okay, so we can't use the TV show as gospel in the uh, context of the first game. Do Not yet, at least. Jaboba talked about. We should find them. Maybe you should try using your new staff to get up to that door. This uh, forest spirit uses like uh, the Moomin stock sound effects, the magic sound effects from the Moomin games. When you put something. Oh wait, hang on. This is like Lemmings too. Oing We got like the vault power or whatever. That's pretty cool. This game really likes to play around with physics. I had no idea that's like what's going on here. 
looks like one of those plants. The fast reaction wants. and execution is what we want to see. More products need less respectful waiting and more interrupting cutscenes and just doing what they <laughs> what they need to. It really worked there. That fucking made me laugh. If you can take it from me. Pfft. I'm gonna die. Holy! Oh wait, look, the HP! Oh, look at that, the HP of the boss didn't like recover. Hang on, can I like sidestep or something? Yo, what the hell, music! This game uh, <laughs> became attack souls pretty quickly. This is the Dark Souls of tech games. Just wait for an opening. Yo, music though, what the hell? Now that you've defeated the plant, you can get the small plant from his mouth. It's the one we need to take back to- Woo! Rock on! <laughs> Rock on! All right, we got the plant. Do we now just like return? That sounds like Raymond Tree. It sounds like Andre when he's in Globox as Tommy and goes like. Something the game doesn't tell you that's pretty helpful is that you need to press the D-pad with the Z button to open the objective screen. Okay, okay. Yeah, we got the ancient blowgun. Nine magical boo-boo plants. Got the Yboloba. Alright, so we gotta kill more uh, plants. Yeah, here's one, here's one, all right. Okay, so that's the opening. Oh! 5% HP left. Holy moly. That info is only the manual for some reason. Okay, well, thank you. That's gonna be very helpful. Uh oh. You think the game would wanna give you that tutorial? Yeah, the game teaches you how to move around. <laughs> Instead. You can roll with the other weapon by holding uh, one of the triggers and pressing the jump button. You mean with the... hang on. This, uh, this one. Holding one of the triggers. Okay, I'm not sure if that works. Maybe not yet. At least I'm not able to pull that off. I only have the stick and the blow vibe so far. This is the one we killed already, yeah. Attacking Like attack power of yum yum Whoosh. All right 
Let's see. Good thing this game has no uh, like one-ups. Oh no. Alright. Maybe there's one over here. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> that scream. Yeah, this is uh, relatively crusty, but not not like in a bad way. It's the L button, health down and A. Okay, I'll, I'll try that out. Music goes hard. Yeah, the music is like one of the best parts so far. Sweet. The music and environments okay, give you slight Chaos Scops here. vibes. We should try somewhere else you would now. love to see those Rayman One Worlds in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't, don't activate, don't say that. Using these beautiful graphics and musical ambience. Okay, so L and A. Oh shit, look at that! Okay. Okay, yeah, it works with the stick. Ooh. Yo, look at my shadow in the top left! <laughs> Keep trying. You may need to be moving to yeah, hell yeah. That almost happened with one of the Rayman 4s, right? Yes, Phoenix Interactive Rayman 4. Okay, yeah, that's there's an invisible wall there. Eh, you'll get him next time. Ain't no fucking way. If nothing, the lack of one-ups is making me play sloppy. Alright, one of those monkey fellas. <laughs> Thomas! I didn't see! <laughs> oh, so we still need uh, more plants. That's where we came from, so maybe over here. This is very Jack and Daxter. Reminds me of the Echo. <laughs> Echo. Echo. Echo Caves or whatever from the first game. <laughs> oh wait, that's where I died. Yeah, that's where the plant was. You always found it funny how the game has a hidden health bar with the feathers on Tag's head, but then just tells you how much health you have anyway. <laughs> like, what was the point? Oh yeah, it's it's an HP bar. The tutorial girl did mention that. I guess they felt the need to add it in the hut too, because like, I don't know. Maybe it's hard to see how much HP you have left. But it's a neat thing regardless, yeah. Oh my fucking god, here we go again. Yeah, this game has barely any HUD. And I don't know if you can like turn it on or anything like that. So that's a really cool thing. Okay, let me just uh, double check this place over here. Didn't miss any plants. Tax posture is awful. Bro has the gamer posture. Like for real. Digital artist posture. I guess you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, attack! 
free! Yeah, like free, free game. Yeah, free game. This game was free. It really does sound like Andre. Feelings. Yeah, Tack has feelings. <laughs> Please, <laughs> no more feet. <laughs> Why always the feet? That's what I'm saying! <laughs> oh, you can climb up and down on the rope. I didn't even realize that. You started it. You can't say shit. No, I can say shit. And you can shut the fuck up and stop doing these stupid jokes. <laughs> this rope reminds you of something. Death? There we go. Are you liking this so far? This is interesting. I did not remember so I realized that this game is so heavy on like physics. Like look at this rope. This is like real physics. And so was the like... Oh! This thing right here. Like there's like actual fucking like Half-Life 2 <laughs> physics things going on here and that's pretty cool for a 3D platformer. Look at that! This game should have been called Pose and the Power of Feet. Laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> you jumped away, you're facing. Yes. Pretty finicky, though. Oh, there we go. Alright, I guess we're out of here. We got all the plants I could find at least. The blowpipe. <sighs> when you were a kid, the schoolyard had a climbing thing and some ropes hanging from it. And you were spinning on the rope and hit your head on the wood pole. Ooh! <laughs> Oof. That stings. I do like that there's a very, you know, just follow the light. You don't even have to think. You can just follow the green light. There. For a frame there, it was like upside down. You walked away and didn't tell you any adults. Oh my god. I got brain damage, but I don't want to get shouted at. <laughs> That's such a child thing to do, I can relate. Oh my god, bro, like it jumped up and like bit my ass. Elevator takes you straight to Tree Village. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this game, just makes me chuckle. Everything's so like funny. Not in like a funny humor, kind of comedy kind of way, it's just like funny in like a crusty Dad, way. I'm not seeing any people. It looks like all the tree villagers have been turned into sheep as well. It's so sad. These people are so peaceful, nothing bad should ever happen to them. You're eating some banger pancakes. Did you make them yourself? These games are written pretty well on the comedy front, in your opinion. I did like that fucking part where Attack just took the staff from that dead mommy's hands.
Homemade! Oh, yeah. You should dip them into honey. I never tried that myself, but... If you can get that sheep to run, the motor will work. I've heard that uh, dipping pancakes into honey is, like, delicious. That's a villager. Ding, ding, ding. Holy fuck. <laughs> I didn't realize I was on the leaf. That scared me. Now this is very Jack and Daxter music. We need a sheep over here. Last day of work tomorrow before our big break again. Hell yeah. Syrup is good too. Syrup is fun. I'm not a fan of syrup myself. I usually like strawberry jam and uh, whipped cream. Oh, whipped. I'm wondering if I can, like, get over there. Oh, whipped. Oh, fuck. You'll get him next time. You had syrup for the first time in America, and it wasn't a pleasant experience. I'd imagine American syrup is nothing. Like, just corn syrup or some shit. But, like, actual syrup that you can get, like, over here. You love the guy, <laughs> guy boxes. You love the sky boxes in these games. Yeah, I already mentioned this earlier in the village area or whatever that I really like the purple sky box. Really makes it feel like these guys live in like, holy fuck, same spot. Like this society takes place in like giant rooftops and no one knows what's down there. Kind of like a Lego Chima. Thick, thick pancake, or more like a crepe. Banana slices and chocolate drizzle. Whipped cream plus maple syrup. <laughs> you guys are making me hungry. Okay. Do you want to try that again? No, I don't. <laughs> I was like, where the hell did his head go? That's pretty funny. I see. Holy fuck. Monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> Alright, get on the thing. The animal puzzles are really neat. Oh. Very glad the game does not punish the player for exploring and falling off a cliff and doesn't have fall damage. I agree. Get running. Why do you go inside the sheep? Tax. Everlasting acorns over there. I think you'll find them to be very useful. Tack is just curious. Nice. Oh what? We can shoot now? Can work as a blowgun. Try to use the acorns to hit things that are far away. Remember, if you want to switch between your club and the blowgun, just press the toggle weapon button. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! 
Yeah, Tech just stuffs his head up the arse of the sheepsies. And remember, those sheeps are the villagers. Nurbel Nest. Now this is Balan Wonderworld. People always be like, yeah, attack, feed this, feed that. No, it's all about the fucking sheep ass. This game is full of weird sounds. <laughs> it fits the game. This is a weird game. You're getting tired, so you're head off. But you hope I have a good time with the rest of the stream. Hell yeah, thank you for dropping by. Oh wait, yeah, I think I can just... Um... No more throwing melons! <laughs> oh fuck! this that's that's funny that's weird you should wash your hair but you want to watch the game game wins hell yeah very funny way of like utilizing nature and monkeys and whatnot as like platforming elements, trampolines and all that shit. <laughs> Never wash. Become a melee player. Super Smash Bros. Hell yeah, give me your uh, throat. Give me your throat. <laughs> Alright, I see you, mushroom. This really does remind me of like Balan. Who would have thought? Tack, the first Balan like. Ooh, there's another one of those creepy plants. Oh! Never mind. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no more Balan. I love Balan World! Where's the joke? I actually love Balan Wonderworld. <laughs> when in doubt, take the stick out. When in doubt, whack your stick. Would you play Balan though? I've played it. I fucking 100%ed that game at launch. And I do want to stream it at some point. But I'm still waiting for a little bit, so more time has passed. So it's not so recent in my memory. But speaking of semi-recent games that I'm planning on restreaming, uh, Kirby Forgotten Land. I really want to stream that one. I don't think this rope swings. It looks like it's anchored to the floor. <laughs> Bond rules, Neb rules. Yeah. 
If I'm crazy stinky and have to be stopped, so is Nebula. Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot. Starlink box is in Swedish, Finnish, Norwegian, and Danish. Oh <laughs> it's the fucking like Nordic release. Yeah, that game was <laughs> that game was trying. You know, a lot of uh, kid quote unquote kid games these days are translated, and that was one of them. Starlink was in Finnish. I don't think I played it in Finnish though, but it was translated and dubbed. Uh, I don't think you can climb this vine. It looks too slippery, mm, slimy, and gross. S slippery, slimy, gross. What the hell? Slippy, slimy, gross. Oh my god, like Kingdom of Gross, the best attack game? Six... <laughs> six gigabytes to download. That's pretty small. Okay, it's pretty big for a Switch game, but, but pretty small for a... modern game, <laughs> I guess. Especially when Ubisoft games are usually like 60. Hmm. Wonder if I got everything from there. That's gonna leave a mark. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Stop saying it, Tak. Owned? He just said owned? Owned? Hey, Tak, did I ever tell you that lots of animals like to eat melons? <laughs> That's gonna leave a mark. You could eat, you could eat another bite. It looks like the orangutan is sitting in a different tree. Maybe this can help us. Take the melon, my little orango friend. Oh yeah, own it probably, not owned. <laughs> Leave a what? There's a poster in the box. They really want the Starling to succeed. If they wanted it to succeed, they should have made a good game. It's so bland. It's so like buy the book kids franchise thing ever. It lacks all soul. Except the Star Fox bits. All right, one more. Uh... Okay, that's all the plants here. We should try somewhere else now. Never mind. That's all the plants here. Ooh, get fucked, Ubisoft Starling. Ooh. 
what exactly heals stack? You thought grabbing the feathers did, but it seems like they're juice, just currency. It's the yellow feathers that heal him. The red ones are called currency and the purple ones are just something you pick up. It's the specific yellow ones that heal him. Time to go inside the asshole. I kind of want to know what's over there, though. Yeah, probably nothing. Oh, look at that! It loops back to the beginning! How very considerate of the game developers. That's non-helpful design. But if you remember the colors, I guess it works. Yeah, I agree. Should have been different items. They should have kept the HP as a feather. Change the collectibles to something else and then the mana items as well. Aren't these game designers wonderful? Yeah. I'm gonna stretch because my ass is hurt. Right, is butt hurt again? No, no, it's not. No, not like not like it was uh, a few weeks ago. Well, we still need to get more plants. We haven't explored the other side of the island yet, so we should try there next. Well, let's go. Is the whole game just oh, yeah. us getting some stinky ass plants? You want a mangosteen? What the hell is that? Don't you dare say mangosteen, these nuts. Uh, I have to go right now. Um, this is the way to Chicken Island and Dry Rock Canyon, but you'll need to figure out how to get through this gate. I'll come back as soon as I can. What happened? All right, we needed a rhino. It looks like we're on our own. They look like Raymond plums and have little juicy parcels inside. Juicy parcels sounds pretty disgusting. Oh, I see. I I gotta look that up. Skid a little. Skid a little. So we very clearly need a rhino, but where the hell am I gonna get a rhino from? Oh, in here! Do not break open cage. Hmm. What if I break open cage? What? Why did that kill me? <laughs> Why did that kill me? Okay, well at least we got the rhino. Get going! So which which way do we gotta go actually? Which map? She said like this is the way to that one park, but which park was it? Hang on. Hmm. 
We need 12. Uh oh. Jurassic Park. Numa Dunes, Chicken Island. I guess it's Chicken Island that we gotta go to. I don't fucking know. Whoa, more physics. Should have paid more attention, closer attention. Weird question, how often do you change your uh, computer background or wallpaper? Uh, never. Mm, pretty much only if I get a new PC or upgrade my PC. I've had the same current wallpaper since I upgraded my PC. About a year, over a year ago already. And before that, I had the same wallpaper for uh, probably three years. <laughs> That's weird. How so? Just seems like you would have a shitty background or oh silly background or something. It's not even silly, it's just something that not busy, so my eyes wouldn't hurt. Let's go here instead. It's just like a funny little purple uh, purple blue picture of a forest with some little elves running around or whatnot. Some art I found from Art Station years back. Decided to use it. I don't fucking know where to go! I guess we're just going then. As soon as the green light disappears, I don't fucking know anymore. I don't know what the game wants me to do. Here's where the problem of everything looking the same. Like, here's where that is uh, rearing its ugly head. You've never seen a game give rather important quest info involving traveling to two separate areas via non -cut cutscene companion dog that then leaves us. Yeah, then I don't know where the fuck to go! Let me just. Okay. Let's ignore everything and just fucking go. How about that? I'm sure the game will inform me if I enter the wrong world. Eh, you'll get him next time. She's back! I feel like she said something, Park, but I don't know what. Does the quest log help you? Let me peek. You need to return nine magical nubu plants to Yebolba. Brutal clown. Lower tree village. Okay, so it's just like a level. I don't fucking know. Let's just go here. Whenever you want to, you can take the blimp over to Chicken Island. Let's go to Chicken Island. I just noticed the fucking unlockables in the map, and I'm already worried. Oh no, oh no, how long is this game? What does how long to beat say about this game? Chicken Island is home to a people that worship chickens. Mm-hmm, they do. It's really made up of many little islands. The area is filled with air and water geysers. 20 on... no. I'm gonna look it up. Attack and the power, you, you. Okay, six and a half hours main story. 
So we should be okay with just three streams, hopefully. Wait, these guys aren't chickens. Oh! Magic Nubu Plant 2 ahead. So this way, well, how do I get past this guy? Music is really good. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean chickens. I was supposed to say sheep. Like, why haven't these guys be turn been turned into sheep, these? Oh, there's one. So is this gonna be the whole game, like getting the plants? That's what I'm like interested in. Awesome, you're on Chicken Island! <laughs> Yo, these guys are getting uh, harder. Now it has like weird wine, vine whips. Good thing I'm master attacky gamer. There's gonna be other objectives too, okay. Yo, this is so Jack and Daxter. Look at that shit. Did Dax just say shit? <laughs> This music though, really nice. I'm digging this. Hey ape, you wanna like toss me to the other side? Thank you. Holy fuck, that was uh, far! <laughs> My back broke. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> we got around the gate, but the guard just looks at you but can't do anything. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Why is this music louder than the rest of the game? Like, this is... I feel like I gotta, like, decrease the volume. You heard me say, hey, ape, and your head <laughs> wiped up like a meerkat. Audi is fine. <laughs> what the? at the death and then 
Tech just fucking like zoops towards the screen. Oh, that was so fucking funny. What the hell? Please clip that. Oh, to my laugh. I wanna fucking like see that. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? Leave me be! It happened again! <laughs> oh my god! That's gonna leave him Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, now I fell down here. Bruh. Popping off after that. That's a that's a fine clip name right there. Oh my god. Stop saying that's gonna leave a mark. is like affected by the physics. I was already dead, I got shot over the ocean. Get me. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Everyone wants to leave you. Oh yeah, leave a mark. That's gonna leave a mark. Yeah. Right. Nubu plant one. So that was Nubu plant two. I guess there's a Nubu plant three over here. No. Excuse me. This game seems to auto save very frequently and rarely asks you to redo a lot of stuff. It's pretty cool. It's probably, I know it's like aimed at kids, Nickelodeon kids or something like that, but I'm not complaining. I'm having fun. <laughs> That's death too. What are these? Oh, there's like chickens. That looks very feral. I love these 3D platformers where you like jump on bamboo platforms. If you start paying attention, you'll notice how common of a trope that is. But not just bamboo, but like wood platforms in general. Like every fucking 3D platformer has some sort of like these wood scaffolding platforms. And you can measure a 3D platformer's like goodness <laughs> by how well they utilize the wooden scaffolding platforms. Didn't you just like slightly throw up in your mouth when you told me this game would take 20 hours jokingly? Yeah, well no, I didn't throw up. My fucking heart jumped to my throat. <laughs> the sign of a great and funny game engine is letting the character body have physics <laughs> interactions after death. Oh, 
Alright, can't go here yet. Amulet of the champion is needed. Wait. Oh, these are warp like uh, things. That's pretty cool. Did he just say, who's the man? Gotcha. You need to go grab this OST for listening purposes ASAP. This music is so amazing to listen to. This is, I really like the music of this game. I love this kind of like... This kind of music. I don't know what the proper term would be. Caveman music, you know, that's mean. Uh, I, I don't know, what would this genre be? Sticks and flutes, I guess. I love how fast that is. Oh, Dak, why did you do that? <laughs> okay. Maybe something like world music. I've heard, I've heard that term before. All these nuts. No, Dak, no! Better be ready for the jump. plant up here. Hell yeah. I like the whole whip sound. Also, can we just talk about the like story setting of this game so far? We are saving the hero so the hero can save the world. <laughs> it's pretty funny when you start thinking about it. When do we see the funny Joe Swanson guy? Is that another these nuts joke? Alright, that's all the plants, I guess. <laughs> I was too late. The guy who sounds like Joe Swanson from Family Guy. I don't know who that is! Joe Swanson. I only know Peter Griffin from uh, Family Guy. I never watched Family Guy! Yeah. 
the nice cock guy? That's Kronk from Emperor's New Groove. What? Whoa. That's a nice cock. Oh, you mean... Okay, 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 okay. I see, I see. You mean the voice. Same voice, same thing. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Whoa. That's a nice cock. Alright. Yeah, I, I think he's gonna appear right now, actually. We just gotta... <laughs> get to the hut. And save him. Yo, thank you for the good luck. I'm gonna need it. Good. I do not like that animation when you fall down, though. That's pretty annoying. Lower tree village. Where's that hut? You're spending the whole day trying to find the second 2D Rayman 2 proto level. <laughs> Good luck! Shit doesn't exist. <laughs> You love this game? This game is really cool. I'm liking it so far. Nice. Did he just say not the eyes? Alright, you Bulba, we are here. I have the herbs and spices, Jabulba. How's Locke doing? Locke, the mighty warrior has been mindlessly eating grass and leaving little pellets all over the floor of my hut. So I guess he's doing okay for a sheep. You did well, Tack. Now I can perform the transformation spell and bring him back. But this is not Locke. It's Tobar, Locke's squire. At least your transformation spell worked. Tobar. Why is there no sound effect? Uh, what? Jabulva? You sure you did that spell right? Of course I did. Oh, it was the sheep sound. It wasn't always like this. <laughs> Tech, you must go to the tree village and find their shaman. Is he this game finished? Sheep, you must fetch his spirit rattle. We will need it. Take this charm. It will allow you to enter the shaman's tree. While you're gone, I will find out where Locke is. Okay, I'm on my way. Oh, and Tack, if the shaman has been turned into a sheep, and he has any nice shamanic jewelry you think would look good on me, never mind, go on! <laughs> the movement is so funny. I'm glad they didn't use motion capture, though. Makes it uh, more have more charm, in a way. But yeah, that was so weird. There was, like, no sound effects, no music, nothing. And then the guy just went like... Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? The bulbous errand boy thinks he can just reach out and take that. <laughs> it's pathetic. Let me show him how wrong he is, Tlayla. Good lumps. Needle says he thinks he can take him on all by himself. Needle says he can take me on too. Well, come at it, little man. Oh. Ah. <laughs> you are literally motion capture. You should instead, like, instead of using mocap on your streams for your character, you should, like, animate yourself while you stream, frame by frame, constantly, like, with your second hand. Why is my head huge? Why is my head growing? 
free. Your head looks like the Hindenburg. Wait, this is a boss fight. Well, that's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> Why is my head growing? Excuse me? Okay, I guess. Avoid the balls and try to shoot these guys with the balls. It would be really nice if the camera would like, you know, work. And not be stuck in the corner. Oh, that's a uh, um, freaking uh, sample. I've heard that. That. <gasps> That sample has been used in uh, music like the Adventures of Lomax music. Bro, she <laughs> she's massive. Oh, it's so weird but funny. Why are their heads growing? You did it! You beat pins and needles! Now you can get the mighty spirit rattle. Excuse me? <laughs> like it escaped the back rooms. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Bro, I have uh, new backrooms games. We really gotta do another backroom stream. Excuse me. This is like an attempt to recapture the success of Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> the spirit rattle. It was really hard to get. I had to. Oh, gross! Is that? Is that a lock? The mighty warrior himself. Why is he flat? He's a quarter of an inch thick. He's a poop and uno people's pancake. Is he gonna be okay? No. He is going to be the opposite of okay. Locke has moved on to the spirit world. But that's not in the prophecy. I know. I am very confused. The prophecy warned us that our people would be turned into sheep by the evil Juju Tleilak. The prophecy also told us a mighty warrior would save the poop and uno people. But when Locke tried to calm them down, they crushed him like a bug! Well, <laughs> can we uncrush him or something? Bring Locke back from the dead? It's very difficult. Well, I'll do it. Only a mighty warrior can do that. We don't have a mighty warrior. <laughs> this is so scary! Where's all the other audio? Vision. You will be able to see the tikis and the magic yorbles throughout the world. You will have to put the tikis into the shrines. The tikis? Oh, tikis fuck, here we go. Help. They may not want to, but if you call upon them, they must help you. How will I find luck? You will need to open an entrance into the spirit world. Once inside, you will be able to fetch Locke's spirit. And you must also collect 100 magic yorbles to make the resurrection spell work. A hundred magic yorbles? Yes, don't <laughs> the face. When I was a young man. It used to take 10,000 magic yorbles to do a resurrection spell. Lucky me. Now, if I only knew what a yorble was. These cutscenes are uh, pretty well animated, they're not gonna lie. Kind of awkward without music, though. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Do you think Tak and Yibolva are comfy cozy in their diaper-shaped loincloths? <laughs> Tak had his diapy bipies? <laughs> oh my god! Spirit rattle. This is a very powerful magical weapon. Whoever possesses the spirit rattle is granted <laughs> juju vision. Now you can spot things in the world no ordinary person can see, like tikis to summon great jujus. How can you bulb in diapy wipes? They contain all the poo poo doo poo if they see TDT. <laughs> yeah, check it out, a yorbel. We need to get a bunch of these for Jabulba. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> all right, so I guess we're collecting 100 of these now. Just like. Okay, so this replaced my normal stick. Diapy bros for life? No, 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 no. Let's not turn diapy bros into a thing! <laughs> Pretty funny, though. 
crinklers. What the hell is a crinkler? Feet are okay, but no diapers. Feet aren't okay either! What the hell? I never said feet are okay! I'm anti-food and anti-diaper. <laughs> Diapers are gross. Keep talking about them. <laughs> I guess let's go back to Chicken Island. See if there's like balls to collect there. Stop, I'm making you hungry. Okay, 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 chat, chat. <laughs> this is, this is terrible. Terrible chat moment. God. <laughs> All right, clearly not the way to go. Guess we gotta find the balls elsewhere. New trigger unlocked diapers. <laughs> Put your feet in tax diapers. <laughs> How do I get to the fucking graveyard place? Would anyone want to live in tax world? Would you want to live in tax diapers? <laughs> oh, you need to draw a line somewhere. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's like a balls down here. Oh. Most unhinged stream award. Tech unlocked diapers. So I'm, I'm, yeah, there we go. Balls everywhere. We'll revisit old stages. I think I need a sneaker. What I need is tax fucking doo doo diapers. <laughs> this, okay, no, I'm not even laughing anymore. I'm, 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 enough diapers. Diapers will not be uh, brought up anymore. Diapers are banned. We will not talk about diapers anymore. <laughs> I like, please stop, lol. <laughs> This isn't funny anymore. Yeah, if I if I bring up, you know, this is this is like the the life of a joke. If I bring up diapers anymore, it's just gonna sound like I have a problem. Talk about tax feet. It, no, no, we're not gonna talk about tax feet. We're not gonna talk about tax diapers. We're not gonna talk about anything. Everyone will shut up. No one say a thing.
talking is bad. <laughs> oh, please just bring back feet. Feet were never a thing! You can't! Oh my fucking god. I'm actually gonna lose it. <laughs> nice weather, huh? I'm the one who started it. One fucking joke! You know, if I started it... I'm also fucking ending it. You know, finish what you started. So that's what I'm gonna do. No more feet. <laughs> this is it. No more feet. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking... Also, don't apologize for mentioning the diaper thing. It was funny. <laughs> That's it. I, I haven't laughed that hard in a while. Right, by the way, what's the stupid sad music you use in some of your beats on stream? You mean this one? Me when no more diapers. <laughs> But you mean this one, right? <sighs> That's from Clonoa 2. It's it's uh, one of the sad teams from uh, that game. Oh, I don't remember his name, but if you look up the Clonoa 2 soundtrack, I'm sure you'll find it. Breaking his own rules. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking like thought about uh, my friend who wanted me to play DAC. And then they're like, hell yeah, you finally played DAC. How did it go? Check it. And I'm just like, yeah, we talked about DAC's big, big, big Dungu's diapers. The juju you now have is called restoration. Terrific. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fucking like, I'm gonna install one of those like dog collars on myself that zap me every time I say diaper. I don't wanna, I don't wanna turn diapers into a thing. This must be stopped. Stopped. Big stop with an exc exclamation point. Hidden Strength from Clonoa 2, from a really emotional scene near the end of the game. Yes, that's the name of the track. Yeah, I use it here because it's such a good, like, emotional and sad track, and it fits comedic situations as well. Owned. Owned. Okay, now he said owned. Like, he really did say owned. You're not looking forward to the foot thumbnail. Oh my god. <laughs> How did we end up here? <laughs> Where did we go wrong? You thought we couldn't clip that moment? Now you can use this clip for horrible things? Oh, hell yeah. Is this, uh... Just out of context, this... Oh, hang on. Right, by the way, what's the stupid sad music you use in some of your beats on stream? You mean this one? Me when no more diapers. <laughs> out of context, that's gonna be the most horrible thing ever! 
You need me ideas. Uh, I don't know, tech? The Rayman? Rayman is pretty hard to make with classic me dev tools. Mario, Luigi, you got the classics. What else is there? Scoop kick. <laughs> Bro, how I wish, like, Tomodachi Life 2 or some other me game would be a thing. Maybe for Switch 2 or something. Oh, I would love that so much. You apologize for asking the question in the first place. Should have known Rice is skunky. Skunky badungi. Actually, you don't regret anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Live life without regrets. We need more me games. I agree. I just... Oh... Metopia for Switch was so good. I know it's original for 3DS, but the Switch port was just so much better. And the new Mii editor was so much fun. We need more games with, like, huge character customization in general. Like, some sort of, like... What the hell? You know, like, those games where you, like, run, a, like, a colony or something? Like, colony sim games, like Dwarf Fortress. We need that. But where you can actually customize the characters and not just the names. played Tomorrow's Life and you kind of did everything there is to do in just a few hours. That's not possible because <laughs> stuff unlocks like in real life days as you keep playing it. <laughs> um, not scientifically possible. All right, I guess now I'm going back to the tree world. When in doubt, take the stick out. How am I liking the game? I'm I'm having fun with this game. It's very uh, it's nothing super spectacular, but it's also nothing too, like, bad. <laughs> when in doubt, pull your dick out! The concept. You like the concept, but it just feels like there's nothing to do. Yeah, Tomorrow's Life gets like that eventually, yeah. You run out of things to do and you pretty much just like check in every day and see what people are up to. You rage quit your Tomorachi life when a couple of me's divorced on their own. <laughs> Yes, you're not old. <laughs> uh, you played this game since you were little, one of your favorites. Have I been to Chicken Island Yes, uh, yet? Yes, I have. We got the stuff. I went to Chicken Island to get the two plants, three plants, and now I'm uh, looking for the magical balls or whatever. There's one up there. We need 100 of these, apparently. So that's gonna be fun. Oh, there's... Oh, what the hell? Look at that! 
You only know this game for the Nickelodeon show, which apparently was kind of mediocre. It's apparently also like a reboot or something. Like, we had these games first, as far as I'm aware. We had like three tech games. Then, like the show happened, it was kind of like a reboot. And then we got like games based on the show's version of the characters and lore. Something weird like that. Games were first and better by far. Yeah, that's uh, that's the understanding. That's how I've understood it, yes. Look like giant when gherkins. Doubt, take the stick out. When in doubt, take the dick out. Duck sounds just like Chester from Fairy Parents. Chester the cheetah. <laughs> oh my god, his eye. Also, Nickelodeon, maybe it's the same voice actor. I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be at all surprised. <laughs> Chester and Tack are voiced by the same VA. All right, confirmation. You've actually met him. His name is Jason Marsden. Oh, that's cool. James Marsden moment. The real voice actors benefit this game, true. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice, I can't see. This also kind of reminds me of the Bionicle game for PS2, now that I think about it. Like these woody environments. Le Coro specifically. Oh my god, Tak! I'm usually a fan of these like jungly environments in 3D platformers. That's gonna leave a mark. Oh my god, I got bit in the dick. Why am I always playing these crunkly games instead of Cheetah Man? What do you want me to play Cheetah Man? Maybe I should play Cheetah Man. Oh! 
Oh, there's multiple balls here. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't get a single one of them. No, <laughs> he just wanted to trick me. So I I would do a cover of the song which worked. Well, fucking hell. You played me like a fiddle. Kind of an evil genius in a way. You can call me evil genius. Okay, how the fuck do you get that one? Hang on, I have an idea. I guess I gotta like drop midway. Bricked. Bro got bricked. <laughs> okay, that's the way. Just gotta like hit it perfect. Why am I down here? Okay. Yeah. All right, 15. Oh god, and we need 100 of these. Oh my god. Tack. Grab the rope. Grab the rope. Tack. Also, is it just me or have these enemies like upgraded? You're the man. You're the man. Uh, hang on. Oh, you know what this game also reminds me of, kinda? The Smurfs game I played. Still gonna play the sequel if, I, if it goes on a sale. This summer, Smurfs 2, the game. I like how the elevators just float. Like they don't even have ropes or anything. Nothing to kind of like explain it in universe. Okay, this place is new. Is this the part where you have to look around a huge map for very tiny objects in very specific locations, otherwise you can't move on? Yes. But I did find something new. Look, there's balls everywhere. I guess let's go this way first. <laughs> nice that it turns to look at your fucking camera. 
Oh my god, okay. <laughs> the elevator, elevator swallows because magic. Magic! No. Why are you aiming at that? Aim at the freaking thing they're coming out of! Fuck. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. There we go. That's gonna leave a mark. Get me up. There we go. Okay, no more little stitch characters. Are these guys even explained? They're not spawned by the main villain, so I don't know. It's back. What the hell? I just... Okay, never mind. Fucking just go. Mm, I see, we got fruit. Let's make the ape interested in this. Hmm? Nice. There we go. Oh, ah! oh here we go. Deathman launched again. <laughs> Wait, did I respawn up here? Yo, I did! Look at that! I actually survived. What the hell is that? Okay, this guy flying now. Oh, it's stuck! Hello, welcome, welcome. Yes, playing this for the first time is kinda... Kinda cool. Except... There was just one ball up here. Rats. Keep trying. There we go. Mm, there's gotta be more to it than that. Does this say anything? No, okay, let's go this way. attached to that elevator over there it's another one of those sheep motors <laughs> oh i thought that was a ball all right let's go up to up sheep's rectum again sheep rectum <laughs> stop no don't fucking oh my god this guy Mm, I see the guy is too interested in the sheep. Let's see if I can uh, get some of that there uh, fruit to help me. I like how the items on the bridge, like they're above you when you walk on the bridge. Okay, these just respawn when you die, so it's not worth destroying them unless there's a ball inside. remember absolutely nothing from this guy <laughs> well he's gross and he wears diapers that's pretty much all you have to know <laughs> he's purple and magic 
He's magic, but he's not purple. <laughs> purple guy, FNAF. I guess that guy is far away. So no, we can just die. Nice. Do I wanna see? Can I like. Okay. Oh, I did wanna mention something about this game's style. Generally speaking, I'm not a huge fan of the huge head, small body character design. That this game is going for, and a lot of cartoons go for that I because, like, I, I don't know, head, head important. I, I don't know what the logic behind that is, but a lot of cartoons seem to do that. Huge head, small body, and then they like, if they stretch out their hands, they can't even reach their forehead. Especially good on flying nurbles. What did you say about flying nurbles? Right, there's still balls to collect. Oh wait, it just takes me up here. So we gotta bring the ape back, I see. Yeah, <laughs> fruitless. That kinda makes characters more appealing, exaggeration and all that. I don't agree. I understand that's the logic behind it, especially for like kids shows and whatnot, but I don't like the huge bobblehead designs. I like huge hands, like Mega Man style, but I still like actual proportions. You often see characters which, with huge hands and feet, like in Sonic. Yeah, and I don't like Sonic character <laughs> designs either because of the weird ass pro Okay, hang on. Sonic doesn't do the classic cartoon huge head thing. But... Ugh. Sonic is a bit different, but for other reasons I do not like Sonic character designs. Sonic Boom did them well, because they like evened out the proportions and all that. But I don't like the core. They just look so dumb in the games, when their hands are the size of their heads. Huge hair, Dragon Ball! Oh no, rope. <sighs> Sonic can't turn a page without ripping it. <laughs> yeah, exactly! <laughs> Oh god. Ah, rats. If you only had a sheep here. We have a sheep right over here. Raymond also has huge freaking hands. Maybe I'm biased, but Raymond also doesn't have limbs. <laughs> so it's kind of different. He has huge features. Oh. I don't know, just comparing Sonic and Rayman character designs is not fair. They're very different on their own. Just because they have huge hands doesn't mean uh, if the other one does it right, do doesn't. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because Rayman works and Sonic don't doesn't. You don't think Rayman's head is huge? Yeah, Rayman is evenly proportioned for his own <laughs> being. You don't like the huge heads on all characters either. 
You understand it's for the younger characters, but on adults, it looks so dispor disproportionate with the rest of the body. Yes, absolutely, I agree. Clark had an enormous head. <laughs> Clark got an enormous head. If you know what I mean. So what I mean is that huge head isn't always bad. I'm talking about the very specific design style where characters have huge heads and small bodies. I'm supposed to take the sheep up there. And of course I'm not! Oh, brother. Why am I up here? What am I doing? <sighs> Have I played the sequels to this game? No, this is the first tag game I've ever touched. Oh, now I see. Barnyard competing for the grossest looking Nick Tour. <laughs> yeah, actually true. This is pretty fucking gross. Ah, oh, my fruit blasted. Do you have any plans to play the sequels in the future? Uh, depends. Never say never, but at the same time. You know, if it only gets worse from here. Maybe not. We'll see. Doesn't help that most media with that kind of character looks gross. You know, with an extremely realistic skin, eyes injected in blood, <laughs> and bodily hair that looks unwashed. Yes, I know exactly what you mean, like the grotesque, disgusting, like, just disgusting shit, disgusting, disgusting. I wouldn't mind huge head and small body so much if it was like, I don't know, not grotesque. But yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Oh no! The sheep! Do we need the sheep though? What was the point of that? It's a lot of western stuff. A lot of western stuff is afraid to be like... I guess cute? And a lot of western cartoons and whatnot for kids are just like grotesque and disgusting and weird looking. <sighs> so, do you want to try that again? What about the opposite? Big dude with a small head. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Though it also depends on like doesn't big dude small head does not feel like something that a lot of shows or media does as like for every character it feels like there's usually just one character like a thug or something who has big bod and small head 
But yeah, I like that, like, character shape trope. Gross out humor is kind of Nick's whole thing. Yeah. It's a long way down. I understand that, but you know, it's called gross out for a reason. It's fucking gross. You don't mind bizarre characters, but there has to be a line between what's ugly yet interesting and what's ugly and distracting for the audience. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like, here's the thing. Even though I say these uh, tag characters are kind of disgusting, I'm not, like, disgusted out of my mind. You know, I, I this is fine. It fits the game. You know, it gets the pass and all that. But something like Rugrats, for example. Rugrats makes me want to, like, pull my eyes out and vomit. And eat my eyeballs. I can't fucking stand Rugrats. Tack looks like a toddler. When in doubt, take the stick out. When in doubt, pull your dick out. Owned. owned. Get owned. I always bring up uh, Rugrats because it's the best example of the most revolting shit ever. Okay, let's go that other way first. I saw a ball there. There's kind of like multiple paths with this game. Suggest Rugrats PS1. <laughs> Evil. Have I seen As Told by Ginger? I don't know what any of that is. You mean like a show? Game? A piece of music? What's Ginger? Camera, please. I don't know. Alright, I guess we're going over here now. Cartoon by Rugrats creator that is somehow even more repulsive. Oh no! Okay, now I'm interested. I gotta look that up. I might have seen this main character at some point. Yeah, I really don't like this style. Like, I don't know who, who the artist is that uses this style. But I never liked this and it's fucking disgusting and repulsive. How amazing this is. All this Nickelodeon stuff is like Ren and Stimpy, but not as fancy. Ren and Stimpy is also kind of repulsive. I don't know. I never really liked that. Also, because I know who the creator is, it makes me like it even less. <laughs> That's a lot of balls! Yo, I want those balls. But 
But now you don't know what to rather watch in Purgatory, Rockrides or Fab? Oh, Fan! Fanboy and Cham Cham. I almost drifted as fucking Femboy and Cham Cham, what the hell? Yeah, I don't know. I don't like Fanboy and Cham Cham either. It's kind of repulsive as well. <laughs> Let's just say I was never a Nickelodeon fan to begin with. I was a Disney Channel kid, hell yeah. We've had this conversation multiple times in the past. Did you yu yu on that beat? Watch me yu yu right in. What? What is that move? Wait, new move? Look at this. What is that? Okay, I died. Fanboy and Chum Chum. It's called Tonic Trouble! <laughs> Have you ever watched Goat Story? Uh, no, even the name isn't familiar. Is that another Nickelodeon show or something? I see, we gotta take the fruit over here. Plastic support that is kind of ugly in a charming way. I don't I don't agree. But I know it has a lot of fans, so people some people must like it. I'll just like take another fruit. Oh my god! Goat Story is some foreign movie with awkward humor, the most horrible character designs, plunky animation. And a lot of Rayman tree humor. <laughs> oh, oh, that sounds great. Eat the fruit, monkey. I think we watched a YouTuber video about it. The name is kind of familiar. This is pretty cool actually. Now I know uh, now I gotta take the monkey back. What is up with his face? Look at that! Why is bro looking like he just shot his pants? Oh no he's fine.
It was the film about quote unquote Czech folklore. Oh, I, rem I think I remember that now. It took place in like a medieval times, right? Nice. Uh, let's try that again, shall we? So I have seen a video about it, yes. These puzzles, puzzles, these puzzles, these puzzles actually kind of remind me of Spyro, and I like that. Yes, I like these puzzles. Shoot the sheep. <laughs> that fucking dies. Hmm. Ah. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, it didn't go get down here. It's instead like... Haha, <laughs> I see. All right. How come all media with unappealing, hateable character designs have uncomfortable humor too? <laughs> it's true. It's, it's weird. It's weird. And then you like later find out the creator turned out to be a pedo or something. Yo, what the hell you were supposed to shoot at the sheep? Oh, oh wait, I know. Gross humor plus gross characters go hand in hand. Yeah. Shoot the sheep! There we go. Alright, that was one hell of a puzzle room, but we, we made it. We got all the balls. Funny they just released that quiet on set documentary. What's uh, what's that? Quiet on set. You don't mean the gross out humor, you mean the sexual jokes with huge silences in between. And the voice acting that sounds as if they're hiding sinister innuendos in their words. I mean that's because they were. <coughs> <Ren and Stimpy. coughs> Documentary about Nick's mishandling and abuse of their child actors. Oh, fuck. I'm glad they made a documentary about that. Drake and Joss, etc. Yeah, I'm aware of stuff.
All right, this is gonna be a tight jump. Fucking died. Yeah. Almost kind of look at looked like a bunch of lemmings in the distance, like on the other platform. I don't know. I think we were all glad that the creator of Renan's team we got kicked out of the show, not even halfway through. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Was that it? Is there any, anywhere else to go over here? There's like a platform up there. I'm wondering if I can like get there. Maybe if I like swing with this. Creator you really like is actually a real horrible person. Number 297. <laughs> There we go. There it is. There's the tiki. Rock on. Woo! So what well, what's the function of those? Sweet. This tiki will let us summon a juju. Let's go find the shrine where this works. Ah, uh, we're not done here yet though. There was that other place I saw and it had some balls. I think. Then he made his own adult version of Renan's team, which everyone hated because it just brings to light the kind of <laughs> person the creator was. Let's just mention the name. I don't, does anyone remember the name of this fucker? Because I... John... Gain... Dong... Pong... Uh, uh, John K. There we go. Thank you. Disgusting cretin. Oh, we had to do that. <laughs> Bye. Hello. So glad you could stop by. Lovely breeze here in the treetops today. Smells of yummy, fresh meat. I don't smell any yummy, fresh meat. Yes, well... I can show you some if you hand me that key. What key? It opens the cage. I was only supposed to be in here for 10,000 years, but that was up eons ago! Well, okay, but I don't care about any meat. I actually need to find a way through the... Uh, hey, hey, whoa, now get off! The hands off the loincloth! Insolent, yummy, <laughs> fresh meat! <laughs> Bro went for the diaper you. first thing. I'll Go. Oh, what just happened? Oh, that was a close one. Hope I don't run into him again. I guess he left when he realized you weren't gonna free him. Wow, his spell was so powerful, I think he changed all the coconut trees in the world to grow explosive coconuts. Wow, okay. The, all of the ex fucking coconut trees in the world now fucking explosive coconuts. Okay, sure. <laughs> Let's go. Not even the music changed. Well, you know, I bet this can take us to another land. Hell yeah. Uh, there's still that one place I missed. There were like some balls, the path branched, but whatever. So I just realized we already found, we already found like a thicky before. Uh. Oh, 
Uh huh. Can I like buy these? Okay, so these are kind of like power orbs. Upper tree village. We're only missing three. Okay, you only need 100 for the story, so that's fine. Chicken Island only has seven. One lower tree village. Okay, I'm, I'm really glad they actually show you. All right, I think let's just keep going. Pretty nice. Loading. You know, Mountaintop is home to lots of animals. <laughs> I can see why they like it. Plenty of space to roam. You know, the more adventurous pooper nunus come through here on their way to Powder Canyon. Okay, so there's... But we had one of those altars before, right? And I just didn't put the ticket there because I was an idiot. But now that I know, I guess I gotta backtrack. But whatever, let's just keep playing for now. We still have some time left. There's a whole 200 in total. That makes it slightly better. I think this is the way to Powder Canyon. If you can get the snowboard, you'll be able to go there. Snowboard? <laughs> All right. Yo, look, big enemy. Yo, this is all Jack and Daxter. We have new enemy variants too. They're like throwing nuts at me. Another one of these music tracks that just like end. <laughs> ok, tack, ok. Death to attack. Yeah, I don't think I can just... Holy fuck. You could see yourself enjoying this as an 8-year-old. Same! It's it's a bit mazy, slightly confusing, but hey, so was Jack and Daxter. The only reason why I know how to navigate in Jack and Daxter is because I played it so much as a kid. So I'm sure if I played this as a kid, I, it would be a breeze. <laughs> oh, the armor is gone. And then I die. You looked into the music OST. There's sadly only 19 tracks to this game. Upsetting. But so far all the tracks have been really good. 19 is a good amount, I'd say. This is where you can get a magical Especially if they're all like this. Good programming music. <laughs> you love how I fall over when I die. a limited soundtrack for a game where you are constantly stuck everywhere. <laughs> oh! I love the scream when Duck got hurt like <laughs> This game ripped off your Kalaile! Oh my god. Oh, I'm stuck here. Get me out! Get me out! Get me out! I guess I need to bring over some of the sheeps, maybe? What are these guys? Oh, explosives. 
Oh, look at the footprints. I just noticed that Jack leaves like footprints on the ground. That's a really nice detail. That's like Jack and Daxter. What was that? I guess that's just you complaining since you don't like just having music in the background. You like this spasm to the rhythm as if you had epilepsy. <laughs> so you're a fan of like Geometry Dash. I, <laughs> I don't fucking know. I never played the game. Oh, I, I prefer more ambient music myself. Complete silence can be scary. And I think... Hmm. Hmm. It, it depends on the game. But for a game like this, I far prefer this, like, more ambient drummy over something that would be like... Hang on. Like, imagine if Tag had this in the background. Yeah. Or something that would be like, insert toy march, hey! What do you mean by that? <laughs> what was that music? It was the main theme of DX Ball 2. Sound of Sonic CD ish. Kinda. The way this rhino runs is pissing you off. <laughs> Can I like? Ooh, heads up! These are more of those fire coconuts. Where do I go with this guy? Okay, whatever. Bro, there we go. You were thinking that too. The running animation of the rhino. Okay, that's that place done. Yeah. 
Yo, is that the ticket thing already? Here's a... Oh, one of those teleporters. What is that horrible screaming sound? Those exploding coconuts. That's gonna leave a mark. Oh, yeah, it's the plants. my fluid. Hang on, so where am I actually supposed to go? Oh, new creature! Bird! This really is Chuck and Daxter! You could do with fewer corpse screaming carnivorous plants. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the hell? I was standing on it. This game wasn't as over the top as I was, uh, you know, afraid. I, maybe the reboot games are constantly like screaming and jerking and pooping and shitting, but this is not. This is pleasant. I like this game. I'm a lot of the champion, all right. Attack <laughs> at the Zumbo sauce. <laughs> The spiciest. Oh. Uh, let's try that again, shall we? Okay, let's uh, watch this and I'll probably call it a day here. Did you see how he spawned in and his like hair was still going places? Juju, you have to help me. I need a snowboard. I might help you, but first you must help me. I'm bored in this cage. I want a pet. Sure, what kind? Oh, nothing much. How about a nice fish? No problem. And a sheep. Okay. And an emu. And a rhinoceros. What? Uh, well, how am I supposed Just to... be glad I didn't ask for a killer whale and a polar bear and a bee colony. Hmm, maybe I should. Never mind, never mind. That's enough already. I'll get them. What? Oh, okay, so we need to bring the rhino... Oh, I see, okay. So I guess, yeah, just put them here then. So Rhino remains here. Then we get the bird. Or if we can't ride it, at least chase it over there. Oh! <laughs> okay, the... Okay, yeah, there, there's clearly something here. Maybe you can't ride this. Okay, you had to tame it. Oh my god! Fish, sheep, bird. Okay. Tuck, you fool, he's just going to eat them! 
with you over there too. You really like the character animations. Keep in mind, most of the games you played just reuse the same animations over and over again for the in-game cutscenes, so this is a nice change. I'm really warming up to this game. There's some pitfalls and there's a little bit of that, like, boredness or whatever, but yeah, overall, I'm really liking this. Now here's the question, how do you save on uh, Dolphin? I don't think I've ever done that. Save state? Alright, let me see if that works. Alright, it works! Nice! So we can call it a day here and continue tack again in the future. Pleasantly surprised. I love uh, discovering these uh, 3D platformers from this era. They actually end up being like uh, cool and all that. So yeah, good first impression from Tack. Maybe two more streams of this, we'll see. But yeah, guys, thank you so much uh, for tuning in.